you'll read no end of stories about water wars and how the world's running out of water. We're all doomed, drought, left, right and centre, half the planet's on fire. But actually we're not short of water. It's just that most of it is too salty and it's in the wrong place. For the last 50 to 100 years, we've been using irrigation to increase the amount of food that's available. It might get you out of a problem for a year or 10, but it doesn't solve the problem of needing more water to grow more food for this growing population. The real problem that the seawater greenhouse is designed to address is enabling the world to grow more food. Unlike a conventional greenhouse, which you might think of as a hot house, the seawater greenhouse is the opposite. It's a cool house designed to cool, humidify, and create a climate suited to temperate type crops in hot, arid regions. Africa is the world's center for water insecurity, which in turn makes it the world's center for food insecurity. And there's absolutely no need for it at all. This is a piece of evaporator. This is the main component of the seawater greenhouse. The wind blows through the evaporators, the humidity goes up and the temperature goes down. You can reduce the amount of water that crop needs, maybe tenfold, maybe even a hundredfold, depending on what the conditions are like outside. You will hear people say that you can't use desalination to grow crops because the water has a higher value than the crop, but it depends how much water you need. If we're reducing the amount of water that it needs, then that, the cost of that water becomes a fairly trivial, insignificant component. Somaliland has a population of 4 million. You would need something like 10 square miles of this kind of structure to feed the country. The cost of that would be of the order of $400 million, which sounds like a lot of money, but actually it's only 1% of the annual aid budget that goes to Sub-Saharan Africa. We're demonstrating that it is economically viable, practical, and not very difficult to use seawater to grow luscious, temperate crops. It is exciting to be able to work on solutions to those kind of problems.